Imagine this. One man, born in the desolate windswept plains of Mongolia, would rise to command the largest contiguous empire the world has ever seen. But here's something even more astonishing. Genghis Khan's DNA is found in approximately 16 million men today. That's one in every 200 men on Earth. How could one man born into obscurity have left such a lasting genetic legacy? More than 800 years after his death, Genghis Khan's genetic influence continues to shape the human population in ways that we're still discovering. But it's not just about numbers. It's a story of power, dominance, and a deliberate strategy to conquer both territory and bloodlines. Genghis Khan's conquests were brutal yet incredibly strategic. By forging alliances, arranging marriages and spreading his descendants across the empire, he ensured that his bloodline wouldn't just survive, it would thrive. The empire he built would connect Asia and Europe in ways that reshaped trade, culture and human migration. And as it turns out, it reshaped genetics too. But how did Genghis Khan's empire spread his genes across continents? To understand that, we need to explore not only his military prowess, but also the intricate web of alliances and marriages that formed the foundation of his empire. Genghis Khan wasn't just a conqueror. He was a master strategist. His rise from a nomadic leader to ruler of the largest empire in history didn't happen by accident. With unparalleled military tactics, psychological warfare, and an understanding of diplomacy, Genghis Khan created an empire that stretched from the Pacific Ocean to Eastern Europe. At its peak, the Mongol Empire covered nearly 13 million square miles, an area larger than the entire continent of Africa. But Genghis Khan's empire wasn't just about warfare. He understood that true power came from creating lasting alliances. He solidified his control through strategic marriages, marrying his daughters and granddaughters to the rulers of neighboring regions. This not only secured his political alliances, but also ensured that his bloodline would spread far beyond Mongolia. The genetic legacy we talk about today focuses primarily on men because the Y chromosome is passed from father to son, relatively unchanged. This makes it easy to trace paternal lineage through generations. But it doesn't mean Genghis Khan's female descendants didn't play a role. On the contrary, they were often the ones forging alliances that expanded the empire's reach. But why is it that Genghis Khan's genetic legacy is so profound, while other powerful conquerors like Alexander the Great or Julius Caesar left no similar trace? What makes Genghis Khan's genetic spread so unique? Unlike other conquerors, Genghis Khan employed a strategy of genetic dominance. He didn't just conquer cities. He established family lines wherever he went, ensuring that his descendants would control vast regions for generations. His sons, grandsons and other male relatives fathered numerous children, embedding the Khan bloodline in every corner of his empire. In fact, some of Genghis Khan's sons are said to have fathered hundreds of children, with Genghis himself likely fathering dozens. This deliberate spread of his Y chromosome over centuries helped create a genetic footprint that is still visible today. Scientists estimate that Genghis Khan's descendants make up a significant portion of the population in Central Asia, with the genetic marker associated with his Y chromosome found in up to 8% of men in these regions. But how did scientists figure this out? How did they know it was Genghis Khan's Y chromosome specifically? In 2003, a groundbreaking genetic study was published that forever changed the way we view Genghis Khan's legacy. Scientists discovered a Y chromosome haplotype, a genetic marker, that was shared by around 8% of men living in Central Asia and approximately 16 million men worldwide. The researchers traced this marker back to one common ancestor who lived around 1,000 years ago. That man, they concluded, was almost certainly Genghis Khan. Through the inheritance of this Y chromosome marker, more than 16 million men alive today can claim a direct paternal connection to the great Mongol conqueror. But how did scientists know this Y chromosome came from Genghis Khan himself? The answer lies in the unique combination of geography, history, and genetic distribution. The genetic marker they identified 
was found primarily in regions that Genghis Khan and his descendants had controlled during the height of the Mongol Empire, areas where his armies had marched and his bloodline spread through the aristocracy and military leadership. Geneticists analyzed Y chromosome data from over 1,000 men in 16 different populations across Central Asia. They identified a distinct Y DNA haplogroup passed down from father to son that was common among men from regions once ruled by the Mongols. By examining the mutations in the Y DNA and dating them back to approximately 1,000 years ago, right at the time of Genghis Khan's rise, the researchers were able to link this genetic pattern back to him. But here's the truly astonishing part. This study wasn't just about genetics. It was about understanding the true scope of Genghis Khan's influence, not just as a conqueror of land, but as a conqueror of human history itself. His genetic reach spans continents, surviving wars, migrations, and the fall of empires. It's a legacy that endures not just in history books, but in the very DNA of millions of people alive today. Some may wonder, could other historical figures have contributed to this genetic pattern? Could it be someone else? While it's true that other leaders fathered large numbers of children, no one else comes close to the geographical spread and historical timing of Genghis Khan's empire. Geneticists use the combination of this spread and mutation patterns to confidently trace the marker to Genghis Khan. Chapter 4. Power, Polygamy and Legacy Genghis Khan's genetic legacy didn't happen by chance. It was the result of a deliberate strategy of power and polygamy. As Genghis Khan conquered new territories, he didn't just take over lands. He cemented his control by establishing familial ties with the regions he ruled. Through strategic marriages and concubines, he ensured that his bloodline would endure across generations. It wasn't just Genghis Khan himself. His sons and grandsons followed in his footsteps, marrying the daughters of local rulers and fathering dozens, sometimes hundreds, of children. His son, Yoki, alone is said to have fathered over 40 sons. And this wasn't just about passing on a name. It was about embedding the Khan bloodline across every corner of his empire. These marriages weren't just about spreading genes. They were about securing political alliances and ensuring loyalty. By marrying into local royal families, Genghis Khan ensured that his descendants would hold power long after his conquests ended. In many regions, the descendants of Genghis Khan continued to rule for generations, spreading his Y chromosome further and further. But as we reflect on this genetic legacy, we must also consider the cost. Genghis Khan's conquests were ruthless. Entire cities were burned to the ground, millions were killed, and entire populations were displaced. Is it right to celebrate this genetic legacy knowing the destruction that accompanied it? Historians continue to debate the ethics of Genghis Khan's conquest. On one hand, he reshaped the world, creating trade routes and promoting cultural exchanges that connected the East and West. On the other hand, his empire was built on violence and fear. His genetic legacy, like his military legacy, is both a triumph and a tragedy, a reminder of the complex ways in which history shapes our present. Chapter 5. The Genetic Legacy Today Today, Genghis Khan's genetic legacy is found in populations across Central Asia and beyond. The Y chromosome marker linked to the Great Khan is most concentrated in regions where the Mongol Empire ruled. In Mongolia, Kazakhstan and parts of China, up to 8% of men carry the marker that can be traced directly to Genghis Khan. But the influence stretches far beyond these borders. Could you be one of Genghis Khan's descendants? It's not as unlikely as it sounds. Modern DNA testing has made it possible for people to trace their ancestry, and many have discovered their link to one of history's most powerful figures. Through services like 23andMe and Ancestry DNA, anyone today can check if they carry the Y chromosome haplogroup connected to Genghis Khan. While this won't confirm a direct relationship, it can show whether your paternal lineage belongs to the same genetic family that traces back to him. Imagine sending off your DNA sample and discovering that your lineage connects you to one of the greatest conquerors in history. How would it change the way you see yourself? How would it change the way you think about your place in the world? 
However, it's important to note that while Genghis Khan's male descendants have left a clear genetic footprint, his female descendants also played an important role in the spread of his empire. Though we don't trace the same Y chromosome through maternal lines, women in Genghis Khan's family forged the alliances that helped his empire endure. Women were integral to Genghis Khan's strategy. He married his daughters and granddaughters into the royal families of conquered territories, ensuring that his empire was secured through family ties. Although the genetic studies often focus on the Y chromosome, the influence of these women in spreading Genghis Khan's legacy can't be overlooked. Chapter 6 Conclusion The Power of One Man's Legacy Genghis Khan didn't just reshape the map of the medieval world, he reshaped the genetic makeup of millions of people. His legacy lives on, not only in history books, but in the DNA of men across the globe. Through military conquest, polygamy and strategic alliances, Genghis Khan's influence has endured for nearly a millennium. But as we reflect on Genghis Khan's story, we must also confront the darker side of his legacy. His empire was built on conquest and bloodshed. Entire cities were wiped out and populations were decimated. His genetic spread may be impressive, but it is also a reminder of the violence that often accompanies the rise of great empires. History has always been written by the victors, but genetics tells a different story. Genghis Khan's empire may have fallen, but his genetic legacy remains, a living reminder that one man's impact can ripple through time, shaping the world in ways we're still coming to understand. As we ponder Genghis Khan's genetic footprint, we're left with a question. How will you leave your mark on history? If this journey into Genghis Khan's DNA has made you curious about your own ancestry, consider exploring your genetic roots. The story of who we are often stretches back further than we realize, shaped by forces, both genetic and historical, that we are only beginning to understand. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more fascinating stories about the unexpected connections that link us all.